UFC lightweight division bout. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure it sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, here's the lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue, and the results certainly speak to him having the right approach, though. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was an All-American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there, and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on it, a highlight. His nickname's the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps foot in the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick and the aforementioned Edson Barbosa. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 23 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Slips. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje. And really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fight night as much as Gage. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. Oh, good lead right by Gaethje. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice. Single collar tie here. Big punch lands through the middle. Shoot. Upper cut to the head, instead it's blocked by Green. Got clipped with the right hand. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Green. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Just missed with the left there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. So just over 20 total strikes now for Justin Gage. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out.
Gaethje strike attempt there is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Let's get going. Oh, effective strike there by Green. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Switching stances here. Oh, nice counter jab there. Oh! Straight right hand, no good. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Gaethje goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Round two coming up next. Let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's round two fight. here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a just Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he's striking. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous... Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent right oh! there. Oh! Misses with that punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Green's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, big left hook there! Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Oh, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Again, they will clinch. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? 20 seconds to go round two. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Everybody sit down, take a deep breath. Listen, we're down on the scorecards right now. He's 
winning the stand-up battle. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go, so here we fight. go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. What a punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch getting fatigued in the process i would think it's very taxing to be chest to chest a oh! oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad john he's got to press him he's got to go chase that finish down now oh he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here different oh all right, so a nice shot there, defense. Oh! Deuce hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's done. He's done. Green gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Whoa! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight, Dan King. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. The hood's too dangerous, goodness.